So you might ask, if location is so important, where should we place the implant? And that's a good question. And in our courses, we teach that there are 21 guidelines for placing implants in the right location. So if you look at a case like this, and we were to draw on top of the bone and the teeth, the soft tissue drape, what you would see is you would see this. And if we extract the tooth number eight or the one one tooth and you remove it, what you want to do is place an implant, right? So the implant goes in and where does it go? It goes three millimeters apical to the desired free gingival margin. So if you get your implant three millimeters apical to the desired free gingival margin, it gives you enough room to have run out space to have a very smooth emergence profile. And as well as if I draw this dotted line, which represents the center line of the implant, it should split the distance between the lateral and the central on the other side. So if it's measly distally split and it's three millimeters apical, those are two of the rules that we use to get the implant in the right position. 